Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred on TV. I'm outside White Hart Lane. It was Tottenham nil, Everton nil. Now, obviously, I've said it before, we've been doing this now since May. I haven't seen Spurs win whilst we've been at the games for Spurred on TV, and that is depressing. I can't deny that. But I'm not as depressed today as I was last week at Leicester, because last week we managed to unlock the door, and then we made a naive mistake to throw it away. Today, we did unlock the door. We had chances. Harry Kane had a couple of great chances, one in particular, you know, if you haven't seen it yet, watch your match of the day tonight. He almost had too much time to think about it, and Tim Howard gave him the spooks a little bit. But I'm going to be positive about it. I thought the back four looked really tight. Danny Rose is clearly our first choice left back now. Ben Davis is a great backup. And I really think that Trippier has given Carl Walker the kick up the backside that he really needed. I think he played well today. He's helping out his centre backs a lot more. Meanwhile, Toby Alderweireld and Super Jan Vertonghen playing well together. They've clearly got a great partnership. So that's really positive. And Eric Dyer was outstanding, absolutely outstanding in front of the back four, protecting them and better on the ball than I was imagining he would be. Now, we come to the issues. The issues are when it comes into the final third, we've got no one really without Ericsson in the team because he's injured to unlock the door to play those little slide rule balls into Harry. So everything that Harry's doing, he's mostly having to make himself. Ryan Mason played in the pocket. He played well. The chance that Harry Kane had, Mason played a beautiful ball through to him. But you know, if you don't get that goal when you, when you have your chances, you're always liable to maybe let it in at the other end. And today we didn't, so I'm going to take that as a positive. Um, obviously, three points from four games, three draws and a defeat, it's not ideal. If we could have only turned one or two of those uh, games into wins, then we're looking at being in the top five, top six at this stage. With signings still potentially to come in and new signings to get into the team, that would be a really positive point. But like I said, I'm determined, even though it's pissing down with rain, not to be negative about this. Everton are a good side. They will knock over better teams than us today away from home. I'm sure of that. They're well organized. Lukaku's a threat. So I'm going to try and stay positive about it. Let's get those new players into our team. Let's see if we can get Berahino or another player even before the transfer deadline. Daniel Levy, we're asking you just put it out there, maybe 20 or 30 million on a sign-in, and that'll just mean we spent 20 or 30 million in this window net. That's all I'm saying because... The big money deal came in, the TV money deal came in, so you can afford to put that. I know we've got a stadium to build, but just 20, 30 million, I think you can afford to push out. Guys, let us know if you agree with me in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.